Hello, hello there, amazing entrepreneurs. If my voice sounds a little scratchy today, I apologize. I have been coughing, but uh, we're going to jump in anyway because you know what? This is Thanksgiving week. I am so excited for Turkey Day on Thursday. And with Thanksgiving comes da, 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 Black Friday. So welcome to another business mini-sode, business lessons minis. I haven't decided what we're going to call these yet, but they are just super raw um, help from me. There's no editing going on. There's nothing crazy. There's no intros and outros. So this is the second one, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the other day that comes with Thanksgiving, Black Friday. So with Black Friday comes the deals, right? And I know that we're all looking at like new TVs and all this fun stuff. And you're probably looking at personal stuff as well, especially if you have children, looking at all the gear and the toys and all that fun stuff. But I want to talk for a little bit about Black Friday for your business and what to focus on, what to buy and how you're going to afford it, because sometimes that's the scariest part, am I right? (laughs) So I have three main things that we're going to talk about today. First of all, I want to discuss what to focus on. And I have three questions or three things to consider that are kind of overall goals for your business. And anytime you're looking at purchasing something for your business, I want you to hear my voice in your head and ask yourself this question. Is this item going to make my business profitable? Is this item going to make my business successful? Or is this item going to make my business sustainable? Those are three things that are really goals for business overall. Because according to the IRS, if your business is not profitable after a few years, you really just have an expensive hobby. And that sucks. And I know that that's kind of a sobering, like smack in the face for some people. I know it was for me. Oh my gosh, when I was starting out and I heard that I had to be profitable within, I think it's like three years, four years, something like that. Check with your accountant. But the IRS will not consider you a business if you keep operating at a loss, meaning that you're spending more than you're bringing in. So these three questions, will this help my business be profitable, successful, and sustainable, will help you decide on whether you really, really need that fancy flash thingy, mabobber, whatever (laughs) that goes on top of your flash. Now, in some cases, you might really need it, but in some cases, you may not. And asking yourself those three questions can help you determine whether or not it's something that you just want or whether it's something that will really move you forward in your business. Now, I am telling you this as a camera bag junkie. People tease me anytime they see my studio closet because I love camera bags. I have so many of them. Yes, I use them all. I love the different prints. I love the different compartments. I use them all for different things. So yes, I buy them when they're on sale, but I always make sure that something is covered, especially if you have a specific budget for Black Friday, you don't want to blow it all on something that's not going to move your business forward. That just doesn't make sense. That is more of an impulsive mindset instead of a business owner CEO mindset. So I really want to encourage you to ask yourself those three questions when you're looking at all of these emails that are flooding into your inbox or the ads, or everything that you're being hit with when it comes to these Black Friday deals, because Black Friday starts earlier now, and you don't want to blow your budget before you know what is really going to help you. So that being said, let's go on to number two. So we know what we want to focus on, but with that being said, what should you buy or invest in? Um, this is kind of questionable. It depends on what you already have. So if you don't have, for instance, a really great portrait lens and you want to be a portrait photographer, that might be a good thing to invest in. But if you have the gear that you need 
And let's be real, our clients don't know whether something was taken with a 1.2 or a 1.8 lens. They have no idea. So if you have all of the gear that you need, I have three things that I think are some of the top investments for your business. The first is studio management software. Now this can look like the Pixify, the Shootproof, the Dubsado, the Tave. They can be actual studio management software, or maybe it's something else. Maybe it's Lightroom. Maybe it's something that you haven't experimented with, or maybe you really need photo mechanic for culling. Some people love that. I personally do not, but that's okay. Whatever floats your boat. Look at studio management software because time is money. And if you are spending more time doing something than what you need to be spending, that is taking time away from the other activities in your business that actually generate revenue. So this could also mean, along with studio management software, I'm just going to lump this in there too. Last year, I upgraded my laptop. I did not want to upgrade my laptop. I'm very much a, if it's working, why am I going to upgrade kind of girl? But it was just going so slow. And when something is going that slow and slowing me down in my everyday workflow, that means that it's taking time away from other things that I could be doing. Other things that could be potentially growing my business even more. So if something is slowing you down consistently, or if you know that there's something that will really help you be more productive and shorten the time that it takes to do some of these tasks, that is one of my top things that you should be investing in. Number two kind of goes right along with that is help outsourcing. Oh my gosh. If you are not on the outsourcing bus yet, join us because it is a fabulous ride. We have cocktails. It's like the party bus. I'm telling you right now. There are things that you are doing in your business that you do not need to be doing. And this is difficult for me too. I get it. I'm actually in the process of hiring right now. And so I understand that it's scary to let go of that control and to trust someone else. But here's kind of a a little glitter bomb of truth because it hurts and it sucks and it's something we don't want to hear. I promise you that there's probably someone else out there that is better at doing the things that you don't want to do anyway. So why are you holding on to those? Invest in this. Invest in outsourcing. I don't know if any of the editing services have Black Friday deals. They might. I know there's Image Salon and Photographers Edit. There's so many different options. And I apologize. I don't use a service. I actually work with someone in particular. So I cannot personally lead you to a service, but they may have a Black Friday deal. And if they do, I highly recommend jumping on that, getting on board the outsourcing bus, join us. It's a ton of fun. And you can free up some of that time that you are spending on those tedious tasks so that you can work on other things in your business. And again, move your business forward, work on those revenue creating activities, because editing is not one of those. (laughs) Unless you really, really love it, then hold on to it. And I understand. So we have studio management software or computers or whatever, and help or outsourcing. And the third one is education. Oh, man. I could stand on my so- my soapbox, excuse me, forever to talk about this. Education is so important. There is nothing wrong with taking workshops and classes. It, I feel like we have kind of this little bit of guilt about it. Like, oh, I just, I take all these classes and, and, um, you know, I really should actually do something instead, but you know what? There is nothing wrong with taking all of these classes. Now, that being said, when you take these classes, when you purchase the Creative Live, when you purchase courses from me or anyone else, make sure that you're implementing the things that you learn in those classes. Otherwise, it is kind of a waste. But when you are investing in those courses, investing in learning and education, you are not only giving yourself skills for your business now, but in the future as well, because you love what you do now, but that could change. What if you decide in five years that instead of a photographer, you now want to be a cake decorator or a jewelry maker or something else in the creative realm? Well, you still have 
that education and those skills because you took the time to learn them. Education is huge and absolutely should be on one of your huge, like top, pretty colorful lists for Black Friday, if it's possible. So with our Black Friday discussion, we talked first about what to focus on and the three questions that come with that. And second, about what you should buy or invest in. And third, I want to talk about affording something. (laughs) How do you afford it? So this is kind of um, a discussion that a lot of people don't like. It makes people uncomfortable. But I want to talk about what it really means to afford something. When you're in business, you have other expenses to consider as well. You're not just talking about um, your gear or your lenses or your computer. You have to think about gas and mileage and taxes and income and all of these other things. Maybe you have second shooters. Maybe you have contracts or lawyers. Maybe you have insurance. I hope you have insurance. <laughs> There are so many other business expenses and things that you need to consider. Personally, I am not a finance person. I have a bookkeeper and accountant that handle most of that, but I like to work in the rule of thirds. So what that basically means is that I plan on one third of my revenue to go to business expenses, one third of my revenue to go to income for myself and one third of my revenue to go to taxes. It's not an exact system, but it's pretty close to what I need when it comes to taxes and expenses and stuff like that. And it kind of just gives me a big picture like estimate because I'm not that financial person. So it helps me break it down a little bit. So this means that really, if you want that thousand dollar lens on Black Friday, you need to be able to bring in $3,000 in revenue to cover it. And I had a moment of silence because I wanted to give you a moment to catch your breath because that is really, really scary for some people. And it's very sobering. It's one of those things that you're like, oh, well, I can just, you know, book a session and make, you know, if it's a, let's say $800 lens, I'm going to book a session and I'll pay off that lens. But you have to think about these other things like taxes or mileage on your vehicle, tolls on your vehicle. I live by a toll road. Um, There are so many other things that go into this. So whatever you are looking at for Black Friday, multiply the cost times three and know that from a business owner's perspective, you need to bring in three times of whatever that costs in order to pay for it. And when you think that way, and when you kind of put it into that perspective, it's a little bit of a wake-up call. And it's kind of one of those things that helps you be a little more judicious in what you're spending and what you choose to spend those dollars on. Because if you have a $1,000 budget for Black Friday, and you know you have to bring in $3,000 in revenue, you're probably not going to go over that knowing that then you have to triple that too. It's just kind of a scary thought. And I don't tell you this to scare you, but I tell you this because I want you to really prioritize your purchases on Black Friday so that you're not going into debt and you're not buying things that you don't really need. Now, if you really want something, (laughs) like my silly camera bags, yes, I know. And let's be real, anything that's rose gold, I'm probably going to buy it. Um, I don't know that I'm proud of that fact, but it's reality. So if there's something you really, really want, I'm not saying don't get it, but be smart about it. Think like a business owner instead of someone that's being impulsive and buying impulsively. Like I just did at Target today when they had a dress for my daughter that was gorgeous. Think like a business owner and really prioritize what you need versus what you want. What will move your business forward versus just what is new and shiny. Because I can tell you right now, there are so many things that you can buy, especially on Black Friday, and buying something just because it's on sale is not a good business decision. So I'm so sorry if I hurt any feelings with this episode. But it's true. It's reality. I have a good friend who built a six-figure business using a Canon Rebel, okay? That is a a lower-end camera. There is nothing wrong with using that. But 
everyone thinks that they have to have the newest gear and like the newest stuff that's coming out that's shiny and new and fun. And I get it. Those things are fun, but ultimately they are not going to make or break your business. You really have to think about these things from a strategic mindset and a different point of view when it comes to business versus just buying personal stuff on Black Friday because it's pretty. (laughs) So thank you so much for joining me today. I know that what might have been a little bit of a gut punch, but I hope that it was encouraging too, because you can do this. You can absolutely build a successful business. There is not a doubt in my mind. We just need to switch up some mindset stuff so you know your worth and you think like a CEO and you're thinking about those business decisions instead of just Oh, that looks pretty. I think I'll buy that today. (laughs) Thank you so much for being with me today. I want to encourage you to have um, an amazing Black Friday and to make those decisions wisely and eat lots of turkey, wear your stretchy pants on Thanksgiving. And as always, if you have any questions, please join the community. We are there to answer. The community can be found at businessstraightup.com slash community. It is a Facebook group. And I hope you have an amazing holiday. We'll talk soon.